<laughs> okay. So what I want to talk to you about is how I transfer the groundwork to the back. And we talked about that when we're doing groundwork, we use our eyesight so that we can see what the horse is doing. And when we get on the back, we transfer that sight to feel. So what I'm, what I'm looking at, yesterday we talked about forward motion. And today I'm, I'm on the horse's back. And I, I think of like I'm sitting on a big ball. And if I want my horse to go forward, I need to be on the back side of that ball. So my upper body comes into play and my seat bones are, are, are engaged, one on each side of this horse's spine. Now, when I engage my legs, you see, see him start to move forward, and, and all I did was I squeezed with, with my leg below my knee. The calf of my leg, about the top of my boots, is what, what, what this horse felt. So it was the same feel that we were getting by swinging the rope towards the back of the shoulder to get that forward motion on the ground. Now it's my seat bones, I'm looking where I'm going and I'm engaging and there goes the horse. As he's moving forward, I'm simply staying behind that ball and, and I'm feeling, he's either, he's either in my picture and moving forward and I'm doing nothing or I feel him slip back out of it, start to slow down so I can engage more to get him to come up. So it becomes clear communication from my body, which is the transfer of my eyesight to that feel, to the horse's mind down to his feet.